Hello, welcome. Mark Smithers. This video lecture is going to be about how to add fractions when your denominators are different. Okay, so what do you do, what do you do, what do you do? First thing, find a common denominator, then convert, and then back to just adding fractions, numerator plus numerator. Okay, so let's take this first one. We got 1 6, we got 1 minus 1 8. First thing we notice, denominators are not the same, so we can't add them currently, but we can ask ourselves what number can both 6 and 8 go into, and I believe that's 24. Okay, so we're going to come up with 24s in our denominator, okay, but we're still going to subtract. And so the question is, what's going to go in these numerators here, okay, what's going to go there? Well, basically, you come back to your original and you say, okay, well, what times 6 gives you 24? Well, 6 times 4 gives you 24, so then you multiply 1 times 4, so this one right here becomes a 4. Okay, and then you go back over here and say 8 times what gives you 24? Well, 8 times 3 is 24, so then you multiply 1 times 3, and so it becomes 1 times 3 is 3. And then now you just subtract 4 minus 3, that gives you a 1. So, four, 4 over 24 minus one over, 3 over 24 is 1 over 24. Nothing reduced there, so we're done. Alright, let's look at the next one. 7 over 9 minus 2 over 3. So what is the common denominator between 9 and 3? Hmm. So what's the common denominator? So, 9. This one already has a 9. So there's nothing you're going to do there for that, but this one doesn't, so this has to be converted. So when you're doing these fractions, adding fractions with different denominators, it may not be that every single fraction will have to change. Sometimes one fraction already has the common denominator. Okay, so we're going to look for some fractions with the denominator 9 in it. Okay, 7 over 9 already has the 9 there, so it doesn't have to change. So then you're going to ask yourself, what times 3 gives you 9? Well, 3 times 3 is 9, and then you also have to multiply 2 times 3, so 2 times 3 is 6. So now it's 7 over 9 minus 6 over 9, and that is 1 over 9. And that's all. That's reduced. Let's look at the next one. We have 1 half plus 3q over 5. Okay. And so what would be a common denominator between 5 and 2, and that would be 10. So 10 would be the smallest number that both 5 and 2 are divisible by. So we're looking for fractions, whose equivalent fractions whose denominator is 10, and we're adding those two. So 2 times what gives you 10? 5. Okay. So then also you multiply 1 times 5, which is 5. And 5 times what gives you 10? 2. So then you multiply 3q times 2. So what's 3q times 2? Well, that is 6q. And then if you add these two together, you just get 5 plus 6q over 10. And you just leave it like that. Because 5 and 6q are not like terms, so they can't be added. Okay, how about this one, 1 half and 9 fifths? Well, we just did 2 and 5 a second ago. So we know we're going to be looking for fraction with 10 in the denominator. So what times 2 gives us 10? 5. So 1 times 5 is 5. What times 5 gives us 10? 2. So 9 times 2? 18. So 5 over 10 minus 18 over 10 would be negative 13 over 10. All right. How about 2 over p plus 3 over p? Well, these denominators are the same, so basically what do you do? You just add your numerators, right? So that's just 2 plus 3, which is what? 5 over p. All right. So this concludes my lecture about adding fractions with the denominators different, all except for this last one. But you can look for more online, www.supergenius99.com. Thank you for watching.